She's part of our wolf pack and we're not going to stop fighting and we're not going to stop looking for her. I'm not going to stop until I find my daughter. An El Paso woman making a call to people in San Antonio, Austin, anywhere she can think of in her search in, for clues in her daughter's whereabouts. This is the photo of Lynette Martinez. Right now, the 30-year-old woman is a well-known wrestler. Her family says that she usually travels alone for events, but here's the thing. She always returns home to her two young children. The night team's Patty Santos talks to the family about why she was in San Antonio last Saturday night. This is Lynette Martinez walking out of a home in the Lucky Ranch neighborhood in West Bear County Saturday night. She had gotten invited to either a special event or a party where she was going to be meeting somebody that was going to be introducing her to one of the owners of the UFC. And they were giving her these special tickets. I don't know, ringside or something. Martinez walked out of the frame never to be seen again. But her mother says a friend heard from Martinez one last time when she called hours later to say she was on her way back. Uh, she didn't state who she was with, but she did say that she had a right that they were taking her to back to the house, um, that they were going to be dropping her off. Her mother, Rosie Galvan, doesn't know if she ever made it to the AT&T Center for the fight that night. Martinez's phone, she says, went silent. Bear County Sheriff investigators took a report for a missing person Sunday night. But her mother says Martinez's phone was used in the Austin area two days later before going silent again. The 30-year-old is a wrestler. 14,000 people like her fan page, so her family hopes someone recognized her that night. If anybody spoke to her before she traveled, if anybody carpooled with her, if they were meeting her out there, any kind of a clue as far as if she spoke with them as far as who she was meeting out there. Her three children are holding on to hope. She has to know that we're fighting for her. We are fighting for her and we're doing everything and we're using every outlet possible to, to bring her back home. And Martinez was last seen wearing a red dress, black boots. She's about 5'2 uh, in height and 120 pounds. Now she has purple and black hair, but she might have been wearing a wig that night. If you have any information that can help Bear County Sheriff investigators figure out where she is or what happened to her, call 210-335-6000. Steve, Stefania. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.